Okay, so I'm having this thought right now about what occurred this morning with Tiffany Blair. So, basically, I'm thinking that if I, if this were to happen again, I would try to help her by saying, for example, say for example, well, how can I help you? What would you like me to do to help you? Because if I do that, I'll help her help herself solve her problem and come to a solution. Yeah. Come to a solution that that maybe comes from her and one that we can both agree with. If she were to propose somebody that a security guard, I wouldn't be able to help her. You know, um, but one one solution is okay, Tiffany. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe you need to file a police report, get them involved, make them aware of your situation. Um, I couldn't give her a solution to her problem. I think what she was doing perhaps was just venting to me because she, in her own mind, she thinks that she locked her door and when she found it ajar, she was venting to me when she brought it up to me versus, you know, accusing me. She didn't blatantly accuse me. She just didn't, she didn't understand how it could be. And I just happened to be the guy that was there at the time sliding the mail under the door. So now, you know, and maybe her mind, she's thinking, well, he's, he didn't do it, but yet he's the only one that was there, you know? And so... I'm guilty without proof in her mind, so she didn't directly accuse me. But at the same time, she doesn't know where else where else to go with it, other than the fact that I was there. Now, if we look at this thing all the way around, you know, we can also say it's possible that you left your door unlocked. And B, it's possible that you gave this key to somebody else, like your ex-boyfriend, who may have entered you. Or... But in my own opinion, I think she just left the room unlocked. She's not willing to admit it. But that's not going to work with me telling her, hey, I don't know. I found it that way, and I slid the mail under the, under the door. This wasn't the only time that I found her door ajar. And what am I to assume? A lot of people leave their doors ajar because it gets hot in their room. All right? And they want that breeze. We've done it, we've done it ourselves. So in the future... To recap for this, all I'm going to say to her is, how can, what can I do to help? Why don't you come up with your own? Yeah. You get your semi-fast wraps. This is awesome. Thank you.